Hello everybody. Well, we're back at it again. We're back with the dumpster Squire Infinity. So we're going to do a little more upgrade and a little more work to it today. So I have added a little bit of something to it. I was out in my little workshop and found a box of parts that I forgot I had and found this old Fender badge out there. So it has been attached to the to the body. So, you know, everybody said, well, it's a Squire. Why did you put a Fender badge on it? Well, Fender put their name on it twice. Once on the front of the headstock and once on the back. Plus, I didn't have a cool looking uh, Squire badge to put on it. So, anyway, we're... Uh, we got that added on. We're going to change saddles. We're going to change the block. Do a few other, change the tuners, and hopefully get this thing ready to go. So we'll we'll get at it. If it's something you're interested in, hang around, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, one of the things that I've done is replace the, the factory nut, the plastic nut. And I don't know if this is going to be good enough detail. Got rid of it, put a bone nut in, changed the string spacing a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell or not. Well, maybe. But how to, you know, move the strings out a little bit with it. Uh, this nut, you can see it's just an old plastic haul it out i mean look like a dog's chewed on it i mean these these things are junk one of the first things to do with one of these guitars is get rid of that nut so you know we got our bone nut put in so that's that's one little sign of progress and the next thing we're going to get rid of these tuners these tuners were i tried to use them they don't they don't hold tune very well. The the plastics around the <clears throat> the keys on them is kind of coming apart for one thing. And then another thing is they just don't they don't look the part. They don't look like what I'm going for with this. I mean they're too they're too modern looking. So they're They'll go in the bend of other tuners I've got. Got something a little better, I think, is gonna gonna look a whole lot better than than that to go back on it. But hopefully, very little, very little modification. I hope. Okay, what I've got to go on here is this set of tuners right here. Uh, came from Guitar Fetish. Pretty decent tuners. You know, they're all in line. They're, you know, pre, I don't know. They're style like the old ones, but they got the solid piece. I mean, they're pretty neat for the money. I like the way they load in the top like the old ones. So... They were all shiny and pretty when I got them. I've kind of roughed them up and let them set in the uh, acid fumes for a little while and kind of, you know, tarnish just a little bit. So that's what we're going to put on there. Now to do that, these type tuners use the small holes and I believe they're eight millimeter, the small holes, the larger holes are 10. I mean, I think I'm right on that anyway. So what I also did is I ordered the converter bushing or converter 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 let's see I ordered uh, the bigger bushing with a small with the same size small hole and these are also from guitar fetish and I buff boogered those up too so hopefully they're gonna drop in here so that's something that a lot of people don't realize because they're saying well I've got 
you know, I want the small, you know, the old style tuners, but I've got the big holes, but you can actually order these converter bushings or grommets or ferrules or ferrules from different places. I happen to get these from Guitar Fetish and they're good looking and hopefully they're going to they're gonna fit these holes without having to do a bunch of reaming, and it looks like they're gonna do, they're gonna do great. So we're gonna install those in. Hopefully they won't be too loose. Look like they're gonna be about right so far. We're halfway there. That one was just a little bit, went in a little bit too easy, but I think it's going to stay. If it don't stay, you know, you can take a drop, little drop of CA glue, put in the hole, stick it in there. You can, several different ways you can tighten that, tighten that up. You can actually put a little Teflon tape around that, then stick it in. There's, there's several different ways of doing that, but these look like they're going to stay in, we hope. So that already looks better. Okay. On the back where it says fender, uh, we're gonna stick these in, hopefully. Gonna be the wiggle wiggle part. These lined up to go in. We're almost there. I need about three hands for this. Hold on. Okay, I got them lined up in. It's kind of a perfect fit. You just have to get it completely lined up, take a little time. I didn't want to spend that much time. Went ahead and drilled the holes for the screws. If you notice, this type of guitar has the two holes already drilled for each uh, for each tuner right there. The two little pieces that go this these these tuners cover those perfectly, so none of that's going to be showing. So we're going to get these other two screws in. And that's going to be a wrap as far as the tuners go. And this is a quick, easy job. Definitely have to have those other, you know, those, those oversized ferrules to go in there. Definitely have to have those. So if you've got a guitar that's got the, the bigger holes for the tuners and you want these old style tuners all is not lost you just buy those and put them in and you're you may have to ream the holes out just slightly to get them in if they're really really tight because you don't want to force them in and split the wood so anyway that's that's more like it and those, these are nice filling tuners. And I don't know what the ratio, I forget what the ratio is on them. Uh, but oh, they, they feel good. I mean, they feel good. And they look the part. I mean, they look, that makes it look, this thing start to look like it ought to. So we got new tuners. We got a bone nut. Uh, so we're ready, to, we're ready to go to the other end. Okay, something in the other video that I that I mentioned that I didn't like was the the saddles on this thing because I'm trying to make an older looking guitar and uh, you know these these type saddles just don't just don't cut it and I never get nothing ready before I cut the camera on. Okay, so. Uh, don't, didn't like didn't like the smaller saddles 
or smaller, the newer looking saddles didn't like the small block. Okay, so we've got this big brass block. Also, GFS, guitar fetish. Man, they ought to be paying me. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully this whammy bar is going to line up with the trim plate, unlike the Stevie Ray Vaughan guitar. The difference is with this relic, if for some reason this don't line up, I have my Dremel on standby. And I also may end up having to actually remove some wood to make clearance for this thing. So the Dremel's on standby. So Now, if you're just going to change the block and you're not going to change the saddles, and I'm not sure, I know with these older type saddles like we're going to use, you can flip them up on their side and still be able to remove the screws to get your, to change the block without having to take them out. With these, I don't think you can. I think you're better off just to take them out, take them off. But with the old style, you can turn them up, each one up on their side and be able to remove the three screws that hold the, the, the trim block in. That way you don't have to reset your intonation or something. You might have to touch it up just a little bit. So, you know, here's our old block. Here's our new one. I mean, that's a, you know, man, that's going to make some difference there. That's going to do it. It's going to make it heavy if it don't do anything else. It won't want to neck dive so bad. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take these screws out, take these saddles off. Well, I wonder if this drill will do it. Might make it real quick. Off camera. You can hear me doing something, you just can't see it. That's why I say when you subscribe to this channel, you get just what you pay for. All right, there we go. Now we're talking, we're down to the, we're down to the three screws that hopefully are gonna come out. Sometimes I have had these things that were, that one's going to come out, this one, and that one, okay. I have had these in a, especially a Wilkinson Bridge, man, ever who they got working there, they put a block on, they mean for it to stay. Good, you don't want them falling off. You want the block falling out the back. I hope everybody can see this. Huh? Yeah. All right. All right, there we go. That's that off. Now, one thing, if you, if you buy one of these brass blocks, these are like 24 bucks from GFS. The thing is you can buy the trim with the brass block on it for like, I want to say 30 some odd dollars. I mean, it ain't that much more. You get the whole thing. I mean, I didn't want the whole thing, so I wanted this. So anyway, that's what I, but you can buy just the block or you can buy the whole thing with the brass block on it. Also, they got them with steel block. Now, one thing to be in, that's important to know 
is like with an affinity like this, you want the shorter one. Uh, you want the shorter one for the thinner body. I think it's a 39, 38, 37 something millimeter. You know, you can see the difference in a full size block. There's a you know a couple millimeters difference in a full size block than this. Okay, we're gonna see if this trim holes are gonna line up. Nope. And I ordered this just maybe. This don't even line up. This don't even line up with the trim. Well, that's great. I'll go bragging before the time to brag. Let's see these trim, that don't even line up. No, that's messed up. The screw holes don't even line up. I mean, the, the string holes don't even line up. That's really messed up. Okay, let me see if I got another trim plate and see what's going on here, because that ain't right. All right, so I've got this sorted, I believe. As you see right here, what I ordered. Import compatible 39 millimeter solid brass tremolo 2495. What they sent me is American, an American strat spaced block instead of the import. It's wider. So that's that's the problem. So that's about one of the first times I've had any kind of mix up with them. I'll brag on them and then this happens, but that's what's happened. They've sent me an import or a, an American block versus an import because the, it, the string spacing is incorrect. The, the bolt holes, they're incorrect. So I got to make that good. So we're not done yet. We'll, we'll carry on. Okay, what I ended up doing is I just went ahead and changed the saddles. And these are the, the gold saddles that I've aged that were on the trim plate that I put on the Stevie Ray Vaughn. So I utilized those on here, which to me, they look a lot better than, you know, that style that were on there. I think this looks a whole lot better. Uh, so I'm just going to have to live with the, the small block in the back till I can get a hold of Guitar Fetish. I'm sure there's no problem, you know, sending me the correct block. You know, the wrong block probably got put in the wrong bin. And, you know, it's no thing. They're always good about anything like that. So that's just one of the... I should have even actually... I should have actually even looked at it and been able to tell that that spacing was incorrect. It just wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't, in my, wasn't in my mind. So we've got our Fender upside down logo, the way we're looking at it. We got our better looking saddles, should be better saddles. They actually should, you know, help a little bit on the sound. We got our Fender 50s classic pickups. Got everything aged. We're still using the stock electronics. That's something that could be, you know, upgraded. So, uh, you know, frets has been leveled. Got our bone nut. Got our classic style tuners. So, you know, <laughs> for, uh, for something that was in a dumpster, it's actually turned out pretty well. I mean, that, that looks a whole lot better. Kind of see the neck a little bit. Got our plate back here. 
Squire. You know, kind of a light, light relic. What I done when I painted this was, uh, I, I just put a coat, a light, couple of light coats on it, just plain old rattle can paint, and uh, it'll, uh, and then sanded it off. You know, lightly sanded it off, so it'll be. Uh, you know, it'll it'll wear some more. It'll wear some more. If the pores are kind of open in the paint. It'll pick up more dirt and stuff. And, you know, it's a lot more greener in person than it is, you know, on the camera. But, I mean, you know, for a dumpster guitar, we've probably, you know, I already had the pickups. already had the other pick guard. I mean, there's a few things that I may do to it. I may uh, put jumbo frets. We may even do the clay dot inlays on this thing. So anyway, I think for something that come out of a dumpster, we've made a pretty nice guitar out of it. I'll get the block, finish it up. We'll try to do this one, play this one, and the Stevie Ray Vaughn that I had in the last video. We'll try to play them all together at the same time. So... You know, hadn't been for the block issue. There's nothing rehearsed about this stuff. I mean, I, it's just is off. This is on the fly right here. <laughs> this is reality TV. So, uh, you know, turned out to be a pretty cool little guitar. Get the block put in. It'll help it a little bit. It'll also help balance it out some more. So, pretty happy with the way it turned out. So, we'll. Uh, We'll be on to the next, the next video. We're going to be into a bigger, better type thing, more expensive. We're going to Telecaster. We're going to put together. We're really using some better, higher dollar type components. So that's coming up. So I hope this little video was okay. I hate, you know, like I say, when you do this, this on the fly, you never know what's going to happen. And I wasn't going to just trash it and start all over. I mean, I'm just going to show it like it is. This is just the kind of stuff you run into. Fortunately, this wasn't some guy's guitar that, you know, wanting to use it out gigging somewhere Friday night. And I tell him I've, that he's got the wrong block or I've got the wrong block. So anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, you know, consider subscribing. Hit the little bell. Get notifications. Uh just appreciate everybody getting on there and subscribing, man. It don't cost nothing. And look what you get for it. I mean, look what you get. So if this was educational, comical, whatever, give me a thumbs up. If it, it was just the worst thing you've seen in a total disaster, give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, until the next time, see you.